Hi there, hope everyone's good day. Welcome back to another video. I know a lot of people have been asking about this one. Uh, I'll tell you right now, just when you think they went all out with the 808 2, this version even topped that. Uh, we'll also be talking about the ultra and uh, regular version together here, along with their differences, pros and cons. Stay tuned for a giveaway too, and uh, this is the 808 3 from Waveweight. So both versions are available on waveway.com. Uh, the regular is $120 and the ultra is $160. Links will be in the description if you're interested. Already a few colorways on there and uh, should be more to come as well. For those that remember, the 808 2 was in my top 10 last year. And after having a blast hooping in these, I'm pretty sure they are a lock for this year's top 10 too, based on my experience. Also with the 808 2, I honestly think the regular version was good enough. That's partly due to the oxygen colorway not gripping as well on a dusty court. But this year's Ultra is just on a whole new level here. All right, now let's get right into what you need to know about both of these guys. Just like last year with the 808 2, the Ultra version is the one that came with its own box versus the standard black waveway box. Materials are a textile upper wrapped in some TPU as you see up front there. They kept the overall shape of the silhouette but there's no sock collar this time, and it's a true low top shoe now. There are carbon fiber plates on the sides to guard the upper, as well as on the outsole. A wavy traction pattern and their tough rubber are used on the Ultra, which is great in improving the grip while not sacrificing durability. Most importantly, this is a drop-in missile setup. It's a full lens boom on the Ultra, cloud plus, and four foot boom on the regular version. Once you flip it over, you can see the boom pot there. The orange one is the regular dropping missile. And it's actually even a little bit thicker. We'll get into how they feel on feet soon. Both versions are very flexible. Breathability is decent too. And for size 11, the regular is about 20 grams lighter at 430 grams versus 455 grams for the Ultra. They're more so around average weight. Regular version will feel lighter on the court. Performance wise, let's start with the Ultra 2. Because with this version, on the same oxygen colorway, there was a huge improvement. With the cushioning, the drop-in missile is still full-length boom. For those who are wondering, this is Li Ning's premium or flagship technology. The foam will kind of feel like Adidas Boost, and it gives you two things at the same time. The softness underneath your feet, and also a good feedback in terms of responsiveness. Moving on to the traction, this is where the upgrade is. Well, maybe not necessarily an upgrade, but changing the also to a typical solid rubber made it 100% better. It's better on a clean court and most importantly, much better on a dusty court. Previously, they were using a different rubber compound, which caused some slipping for me in my usual dusty gym. This time with this solid rubber also, I've never had any problems getting to a hard stop. It's super loud and squeaky, and I would say it's top tier traction, easily one of the best grips you can get. With the fit, I would still strongly recommend going half size up from your true size or normal Nike size, let's say. Especially because the Ultra is a more snug fit compared to the regular version. No issues with the lockdown, even though they removed the sock collar on the 808 2 Ultra. Another important change with that is that this time the upper became more flexible. So you get like an increased nimbleness in your movement. And now it does work well for those who have a faster playing style. So in general, the Ultra is a very much improved version from last year to me. If I was to point out some downsides, a tiny thing is with the materials. Some parts of it were folding a little awkwardly, like near the leaning logo on the lateral side. But this is really if we're being very picky, because on feet, I had no major discomfort. Some break-in time is needed though. Before we talk about the regular version, I want to let you know that I will be doing a giveaway with WaveWade, where one person will be selected to receive the 808 3 Ultra in this oxygen colorway. It'll be your size of choice, so if you win, whatever size you wear, they'll send the pair over to you directly. The winner will be selected randomly in about a week of time from now. And for more details, just check out my Instagram post to enter. Uh, yeah, everything will be on there. Okay, now the regular version, I mean, this is just super fun to hoop in. I say that because it takes no break in time. Step in comfort is incredibly good. Uh, compared to the 808 2, the lockdown became more secure. So yes, the regular version became better too. Cushion, however, won't be as good as the Ultra. It just feels a lot thinner, especially when you press down on the heel. 
and that's basically the biggest differentiating factor. Traction is equally as good, even though the patterns aren't the same. The grip is just consistent, extremely squeaky, and works on all types of dust settings. I do plan on using these outdoors, so I'll update on the durability later on. Uh, again, half size up is my recommendation. No hill slippage this time, and they are good to go if you have wide feet. I'm still trying to find the best way to describe the core feel. Like, it's low to the ground, flows with my movements really nicely, and some shoes on the dusty core that I usually play at, I just wouldn't be nearly as confident. Uh, this trash and uh, minimal dust pickup, paired with the core feel, you know, it's a shoe that I want to keep going back to wear again the next time I play. Overall, if you're mainly considering the 803 Ultra, it's just a fantastic shoe. Uh, not only S tier in traction and cushioning, but also became even better for guards with more flexibility. Comparing the regular version to the Ultra, I also wouldn't say the Ultra is a complete upgrade, simply because the regular version is just equally as good. If you want to save 40 bucks, also if you have wider feet and just want a low to the ground shoe with great comfort, the regular version, I guarantee you will get the job done too. As always, let me know what you think about the 8083 in the comments. If you've gotten a pair, please feel free to share with us your experience as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.